I had a guy write me this week, and he's going through a friendship situation with a woman also, although they started out dating and somehow it's now friendship. So we'll get into a situation. I'll stop along the way and give him some advice. So he says, hi, Harry. I've been following your content for a while and applying it in my dating life successfully. Hold on a second here. I have an issue with the current girl I am seeing. She's 58 and I'm 56. So it shows you guys, regardless of what age, it's always good to have a blueprint system set in place because if you don't, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, if you, if you don't have a blueprint designed to help you walk through the dating situation, then you're, there's going to be a point where you're going to get lost. You're going to get confused. You might overkill on dates like, hey, this guy's, this guy's in a situation. He's gone on a lot of dates with a woman already, and she's still not giving him the what are we speech, which means that something is going wrong. But you got to know what that is. And so go to my, pro, go to my website introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the products tab, learn about the Introvert Dating Success Academy. It walks you through these kind of scenarios so you will not be stuck when they happen. So this guy says, we have had 12 dates over nine weeks so far. So I tell you guys, it takes a woman two to three months to solidify her feelings, which is basically three months is 12 dates, all right? He's gone on 12 dates in nine weeks. That's like two, two months and a week. So he's gone a little fast pace, but we also don't know at, at the point where a woman starts becoming more interested, she's going to ask for more of your time. So depending on if that happened, then this would be within that time frame. But by 12 dates, 10, uh, three weeks or uh, three months, she should be starting to ask those questions about, are we in a relationship, right? So he says, we had 12 dates in over nine weeks. I have been over to her house and met her mom who she cares for. We all had dinner together. Now I advise you guys, you should not be meeting anybody's family members or close personal friends until at least month two or three. Ideally, it's at the point that you're in a relationship. So for me, I would say that this is too early because this is one of those things where like it on a woman's side of things, when you're meeting close friends and family, it starts to feel more and more like you're in a relationship. If her feelings have not gotten to that point, then even if she suggests it, this is overkill. Now, one might say, but Harry, if the mom lives with her and he wants to come over and see her, then there, he has no choice but to eventually meet the mom. And to that, I say, those are details that you find out on dates. Because if she, if he knew early on that the mom lived at home with her, then he would know, okay, I need to either invite her to my place for dates or see her outside of her apartment because meeting the mom is what, in most cultures, you're not meeting parents until you're done and ready to marry. So this is another example of an action that a woman might suggest that she's not aware is going to make her now feel like this is a forced relationship and could cause her to want to slow this thing down. And you as a guy got to recognize that sometimes women are going to throw out suggestions that are to their detriment. And you have your full right to say, you know what, for where we're at in the dating space right now, maybe we should wait to meet your mom after we're in a relationship. You have the right to say that. So then she goes, I'm oh, sorry. Then he goes, so he's met her mom. He says, I've walked her dog. I've helped her with her taxes. She wants me to help train her arms at home. She talks, I don't know if that means trains her arms or like train her in terms of weightlifting or, or fire ammo. I don't know which one. He says, she talks about future travels with me as she likes to travel, which is good. Women should be talking future speak. But what we said, we have, we've had a good time on dates. She keeps wanting to see me. So, so far, all seems good, right? And this is where I get into like, sometimes the things that seem good, you're not aware they're still causing other things to take place in her subconscious. So he's now, he has, he's not the boyfriend. He's already walked her dog, helped her with taxes. These are things that a boyfriend would do. And that would happen in a relationship. But in the dating phase, you doing these kinds of activities objectively is a little bit too soon for most women. Again, they might see this and think, what's wrong with walking the dog? What's wrong with doing? Like, I could still like a guy and whatever, but the probability of her not feeling like, like that's overkill is very low. Most women, when you start volunteering to do these things, these are boyfriend activities. You're already doing enough just asking her on dates, paying for the dates, having conversations with her, hooking up with her. Those things alone, just doing those consistently along with some other stuff that I talk about in the academy, like will help you to get to the promised land without having to overextend yourself. At the point that you overextend, it starts to feel to women, A, that you're forcing it and also like it's more geared towards a friendship. So let's see what happened. He says, however, there has been no physical touching initiated by her with me except for goodbye hugs and cheek kisses. Once she, once she held my hand at and after a movie, but that's it. She never sits close to me, 
always walks apart from me, turns her head and offers her cheek when I go to kiss her. So we have the side of the of the dating situation where they're hanging out and having a good time, but there's no physicality there. And I've said to you guys before, like women should be the ones to initiate contact, but you should be allowing yourself to be open for it at the point where that starts happening. Then you start making stronger moves. So he said, hey, she initiated a, a handhold, which I guess is a, is a low key one, but she's not sitting close. She's walking apart, turning her head. So these aren't strong enough signals for me that would indicate that she actually wants to go physical faster. Now, there are some women that are out there that are like, hey, I don't want to let her let him think I'm a loose kind of girl. And so I'm going to wait for him to come to me to do things. But it seems like if he's going for kisses and she I don't know if she's turning her cheek beforehand as he goes in for the kiss or if he's going for the kiss. And then all of a sudden last minute, it's like, ah. so but either way, the fact that he's probably tried this a number of times and he's still getting cheek kisses. These are not positive indicators that she's highly attracted to him on a physical and sexual level. And that's not good. Like you want a woman that's going to want to do things with you. And even people that are virgins would be like, would still be able to like do non, non fully sexual, but you know, still indicative of, of interest touches. The fact that that's not happening is already not a good sign. So then he says, she had told me that I have shown great friendship so far for which is what a great relationship needs as its basis, which again, I read this thinking, oh my God, Based on the study that I read, apparently people get into this by way of friendship. So it is, it's a thing of, you can get into a relationship based on a friendship per se, but for one, don't think that if you're dating with the intention to date somebody that you can't be friendly to them. Like in the dating phase, you should be friendly to all the women that you're dating. Ideally, you're still adding some physicality to that and she's reciprocating in kind, but you go, you don't have to go full on like Romeo mode to get a woman because you want to have realistic conversations. You want to have times you can just joke around and laugh at the person. Like that's all a part of friendship, which should be part of your relationship. I think where guys get confused is they hear from women. Well, you know, friendship is, you know, we, in order to get a relationship, we got to, got to have a good friendship first. And they don't think that you could be building a friendship while you're trying to date the person with the intent to eventually be with them. Like you can be doing those things at the same time. And that message gets misinterpreted into something that usually doesn't work for most people. So then he says, she had told me I had great friendship and that a relationship also needs good sex, which we may have in the future. It's like we are a couple who are happily dating in every way, but physical intimacy. I'm just concerned about whether the chemistry is there on her part towards me at all, as I would hate to be used just for things I'm doing for her. At times it feels like I'm in the friend zone and I'm just a placeholder until someone she really has physical attraction for comes along. I've kind of almost given up trying to initiate as I'm a good reader of body language and it's clear she is not into it at this point. The alternative explanation is she just takes a long time to be safe to express things physically with me. So here's my problem with the whole, you know, friendship to relationship thing, right? Is that guys will hear that and read that survey and read the study and think, okay, so it's true, friendship to relationship. But the problem is that then blinds them to the actuality that a fair majority of women, when they find a guy highly attractive in terms of looks and stuff like that, they will break this. Like they'll have a rule for you. Oh, I don't hook up with guys until, you know, I'm in a relationship and, you know, I'm not really a touchy feely person. The number of women that I personally dated that were like, I don't understand. I'm not normally a touchy feely person, but with you, I just can't keep my hands off of you. Like, yeah. Why is that? Why does that happen? It's because I'm not forcing it. I know to make myself available for their touch, but I know that by doing a lot of the right things, a lot of things that I talk about in the Introvert Dating Success Academy, that that will result in them wanting to chase after me to touch me. And if they're chasing you, they can't be replacing you. So when a woman tells you, well, I mean, I got to be friends first and I have 97,000 rules that got to happen during the dating phase. So I'll eventually feel attracted to you and want, and want you know, the good stuff from you physically. Usually most women, when they find a guy they really have high interest in, first date, touching, second date, hookups, third date, asking what are we for? Like, and most guys don't get to experience that because they're listening to words that women are saying and thinking that it's gospel. So he says, I haven't discussed this with her. 
I'm just continuing to show up on dates and have a good time with her. From my personal experience, I've always had some mutual chemistry in terms of kissing, et cetera, after no more than about six dates. 12 dates seems like a lot to me. What should I do? So this goes back to, if we look at the study, where it said that most people that get into relationships as a result of a friendship first, it takes them a year and a half. What that means is it doesn't have to take a year and a half. If that's, that's an average, it doesn't have to, but it means that what it tells me for one is that the fact that she's not overtly touching you means that it, it reads to me as though you're the one mostly going to her. You're the one trying to initiate more touches with her. You're the one trying to ask for more dates with her. You're the one trying to ask for to spend more time with her, which, which that results in a woman not feeling the need to do these things because you're already doing them. It stifles her want and desire to want to reach out, to want to touch, to want to make this a relationship, you know? So even though it's 12, 12 dates in nine weeks, it, it feels like you're probably texting a lot between dates. You're probably communicating way too much. You're seeing her mom, which you should not be doing during this phase of the dating point. And so in terms of turning this situation into a relationship, my honest answer would be, you need to back up. Like, if I were in this situation and I'm like, okay, it's been almost two and a half months now. She hasn't yet asked for a relationship. I can't touch her. I can't, uh, she says she she wants more of a friendship right now. I would say, okay, I'm going to take out her word. She's saying we have such, she's so, such a great friendship. She's not looking that she's down a physical path. So I need to back off a little bit give her time to miss me, and also start talking to other women. Now, this is going to seem counterproductive because you're thinking, you know, guys have a hard time sometimes um, focusing on more than one thing at a time. So guys will think, but if I take my attention away from her, I'm not going to be able to give uh, divided attention to multiple people. And also, but won't she get mad if she sees that other people like me? I, I have found in my personal experience that when I have come across a woman that is like, well, let's take our time. Let's just be friends for right now. And then I started talking to other women and they found out that I was potentially going out with other women. It's amazing how fast they suddenly wanted to get into a relationship or get into a hookup scenario. It's just absolutely fascinating. But this speaks to women don't like the idea of dating a guy that has no other options or more importantly, doesn't think he has the ability to get other options and she's the only one. Like women want to be an option. They don't want to be your only option. And so she might just need to have a little less of your time. She might need to be able to hear from you once or twice. Oh, you know what? I have plans for that night, so I can't make it. But how about this other night? Just doing a couple of those, she might start realizing, oh crap, like maybe he, maybe I'm losing his attention. Like, I don't, do I want that? I don't want that. And so this ends up to where you're now running the program. You're now taking the lead on this thing because you're saying, hey, I can't force you to do what you don't want to do. If you don't want to touch, if you don't want to kiss, it is what it is. Let's just keep it as it is for now. I'll go do other things and then see how that turns around. But you sitting there thinking, okay, it's going to be about to be week 10 or 13th date and nothing's happening. I should just keep going along with the program. I'll say this. If, if that's not the program you like, then it's your job to let it be known you don't like the program. So if you don't like the fact that she's not touching you a lot, again, you don't have to say you need to touch me more this now because you can't, you can't negotiate a woman touching you more. Oh, I didn't know I wasn't touching you or kissing you. I'll let you do it. Women have to feel like it's their choice. And so you can very well say, you know, if she, again, she asked you out one time, just be like a couple of times, just be like, I, you know what? I got plans with somebody else right now, but like, uh, let's catch up on this other day of time, right? If she starts asking what's going on, blah, blah, blah. You say, well, you know, I noticed that, you know, you weren't being really touchy feeling. So I don't know if that means you're, you're losing interest or if this is going to go someplace. So for right now, I'm keeping all my options open and seeing who the best woman, let the best woman win. And see if that doesn't convince her that, oh, maybe I do want to kiss him. Maybe I do want to hug him. Or she could be like, you know what? I realize based on him doing, maybe I just am not feeling as much as, as he's wanted me to because I, I don't feel like kissing him, touching him. I don't know why that is. Maybe it just, I don't have as high interest or whatever. Like it could very well result in her going away. But you have to look at, but what do you want as the guy? If you as the guy want a woman that you can kiss and touch and that's your typical MO is like, it's about six dates, which spoiler, it ain't even got to take that long. My program will show you how to be able to get kisses by dates two or three at the latest. But that's not the point. The point is, if that's what your typical MO is, is being able to get these within a short amount of time and what's happening with this woman right now is not working for you, then you do not have to stay in that scenario. And you need to have the understanding that there will be other women out there that will 
be willing and open and wanting to do those things a lot earlier, you know? And so that's why I would tell you guys, being indifferent to outcomes is very, very important in the dating world because if you're just stuck on, I have to have this person, then when you're not getting your way, you're going to be like, I guess this is just the program I got to go with. And that's not what it has to be at all. You know? So hopefully guy, this helps you out. If you have any follow-up questions, consider signing up for coaching. I'd love to get on a call with you and really map out how this thing could actually work for you. (laughs) 